Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's episode, we are going to try something new. Uh, this is a DIY wooden book nook. Uh, it's called the Eternal Bookstore from a company called Cute Bee. Um, never ordered anything from them before. Uh, but these book nooks are something new that I've been kind of seeing that you can put on your bookshelf that'll slide in between your books. And it's some type of scene, uh, whether it be like a book uh, bookcase library or like an alleyway or, or just something, some type of scene uh, that you put together uh, to be able to put on your bookcase. So it provides you with everything that you need to do. Uh, you just kind of have to, you know, glue it together and everything. So, um, but we'll go through and uh, we'll just show you all the pieces, which some of these actually look pretty cool. And the, the material is real rough wood, so it actually uh, should be somewhat durable. But all the pieces are labeled uh, clearly enough for you to be able to pick out the correct piece and everything. So, and everything's colored already. I mean don't really have to do anything with it. You, like I said, you're just putting them together. And these right here are gonna be your books that uh, you'll be pasting uh, the paper outside covers to all of these. So yeah, those, those it's not gonna be fun. I'll tell you that right now. So, um, but uh, it looks like they do a good job of highlighting uh, any areas that you're gonna be pasting other things onto. Cause you see like right here it has a little silhouette of where these books are going to go to so you're going to take these out and glue them onto here so it kind of gives you a good silhouette of where they're going to be and everything and then uh these right pieces right here are your actual side pieces outside pieces that you're going to be gluing a lot of stuff to and uh it looks like they do a good job of uh, silhouetting where a lot of pieces are going to be going because you can see here there's a little a5 section if something's going to go there and then right here some piece is going to go here that you're going to glue on and then you can't really see it until you the light hits it you can see a little outline these black little rectangles right here there's some wooden pieces that are going to be going on here right there so but we'll get into that more once we uh, actually get into start building it and there's some some pieces right there as well and then this one already has something already they put on it it's a picture or whatever so i guess they just decided to go ahead and do that and then and, and here's all your books you know, all your books and paper that you're going to have to cut out and everything so again not fun so i've done it before with uh, probably twice as many books that i had to put together um but uh, it actually shouldn't be too bad so it's just a lot of cutting and everything. And then uh, this right here is your uh, battery pack. And this does have lights in it. So uh, you'll just be putting the lights in different places to be able to turn on. And it uh, has a couple of little accessories and stuff with it uh, that you'll be using. Uh, but as always, uh, if you like my videos, please like, share, subscribe, leave comments. Hit that notification bell and uh, get more content out to you. So with that, we'll get started. Hi everyone, welcome back. So before we get started actually following the instructions and what it says, I kind of looked through it a little bit and, and there's one part where it wants you to go ahead and like put all the books together and uh, just so you can start uh, picking a certain number to fill in certain steps or whatever. So instead of waiting to that step, I just decided to go ahead and, and just put the books together. Uh, because there's going to be some books like these over here where it's just a, a wood piece like this that you just pop out of the uh, out of the sheet that it provides and then you just wrap the paper uh, book around it you know to make it look like a book and everything so um, so I'd already done some of those and there's like 90 of those which took a while and then you had these other ones where you uh, fold the pages to make it look like an open book and it still has the same type of cover paper cover for it 
So I'd already done some of those, but I wanted to just kind of go over how I did those. Um, got through those steps. So I just went ahead and completed what I'd done. There's like 12 folding books, and then there's like 90 uh, actual just wooden books. That's what they call. So the the wooden pieces, once you break them off, uh, it provides... Uh, if you have some sandpaper from the previous models or just get some just regular sandpaper, I just sanded down the sides, you know, a little smooth because they got those little notches uh, that holds them into the sheets. So I just kind of smoothed them down uh, just so they don't stick out too much. And then just with some uh, uh, fine point scissors that cut really, uh, really sharp or really uh, close to an edge, um, you just go through and just cut each. Uh, sheet or each book cover off the page as close as possible where you don't see any white whatsoever and uh, and if you get off just by a little bit there's no harm in that but you can see you know I didn't I try to leave as little white as possible just so you don't see that and then uh, the same for the folding sheet because this is the folding sheet that you're going to be uh, to represent the pages I just cut along the edge as close as possible to not have any white showing, which here, I mean, I've got a little bit, but I'm okay with that. But just, just do that on both sides all the way around and everything. So um, we'll do the folding sheets first. So the way I do it, because what you're going to be doing is gluing this first page onto the inside of that cover. So you're going to want this to be the outside page first so and they got the lines for each page as it goes down as it goes down the row here so you just want to fold you just want to fold the line uh, the first page over or the first little column or block just fold it over to the first line and then once you get it level get it straight whatever and then just press it just kind of make sure it's good. And if you're off by a little bit, like I said, it, it's fine. And then you're just going to do like an accordion style. So once you flip it over, then you're going to go under. And then you're going to line it up as close to that line as possible. Just make sure there's no line, no white showing. And then once you do, then you just press it together. And then you just repeat the process. And you just do this until you get the entire sheet done of all the pages. And then, uh, you know, sometimes it's hard on the back one to make sure that it's lined up straight. And again, as long as you're close, I mean, nobody's really gonna know, you know, except for you, because you're the one doing it. But uh, as long as you're close, uh, it, it'll come out pretty good. So, but the, uh, The actual uh, wooden books, <clears throat> and, you know, it just took longer just to get the paper covers over top of them and then sand in all the blocks and everything. So, and cutting them out, it does take a little bit. So, that's why um, I would recommend just doing that as a very first step, just to get them done out of the way. And then you don't have to worry about doing a couple steps in the instruction book. And then get to that point and now you gotta you know do two three or four uh three or six books you gotta put together and then and then put into the stuff that you're working on and then do a couple more steps and then you gotta do three or four more books you gotta put together and all that so it's just better just get it all done and then that way you don't have to worry about it and they're all ready to go whenever you need however many books you need then you know, you'll just, you'll just be able to pick and choose, you know, whichever ones that you want to use. And for the most part, there's a good variety of book covers where, you know, there's some different ones. So, and you don't have to go with exactly what the picture shows of what they use. You can use whichever books you want. Again, you know, you just want to show, you know, different color covers, you know, just to show a different uh, type of variety of uh, wherever you're putting them into the uh into the model or into the book nook and everything so okay so for this last one you just want to fold it over and just to where it's right on the edge 
and then just tighten that up. So when you get done, both ends should be, a, the back should be a white page. It shouldn't be uh, any type of print or color or anything. And if, I, and if you let it go, it's like an accordion. You know, and you got your pages in here. So you just uh, want to make sure that the pages are right side up of what's in there. And some of them are hard to tell if they are or not. Which, okay, that looks like it's right. Okay, so now what I usually do, and I'm going to get a visitor here. So to mold the, the book cover page to fit that, what I usually do is I'll just get the block, because this is what I do with the actual book covers, the, uh, the wood block, and I'll, I'll line it up with the page. I'll leave a little bit of white past the edge, and then I'll just wrap the cover around it, and they should line up pretty close on either side, and if they don't, you can always just like loosen it up and then get it kind of straight, and then make them the same length on both sides. Make them be uh, the both lengths on both sides, just so it's even. And then, you know, top and bottom, uh, and, you know, it really doesn't matter, you know, where the block is going to be or whatever, but you just want that shape. And then, just as you're holding it with your fingers, then you want to make sure that the pages are the correct way, that it's right side up. And then you're going to get your glue, and I, you know, recommend uh, just regular craft glue or just paper glue and all you need is just a little uh, just a couple little dots you really don't need a lot of glue for this because this is all I'm doing is just just a couple of lines that's all I put in to mine and then with your pages you want to just slide them in and then before you press too hard you want to just make sure that they're they're in pushed in all the way to the back and that they're lined up top to bottom and then you just push together and you just push everything together now if you don't want to sit here and hold it in case your glue doesn't uh, set too quick then you can use one of these clamps whatever and then you can just push it down like that and then that'll hold it for you until you're ready to get back to it so but this glue that I use it actually sets pretty good so so there you go there's your book with the open pages and if you want on the inside covers if you have a little bit of white showing like right here you can always come back with the scissors and cut them off cut off those white pages it's not really gonna or white edges it's really not gonna affect anything one way or the other but it just depends on if you like a lot of the white showing or if you don't like the white showing so but so there you go there's your book with the open pages so now the actual wood books. So a lot easier. You don't have to fold nothing. Not an accordion style anyway. So for these, you don't push the paper out as far as you did on the other ones. You kind of line it up right with it. And then you just fold it. And then put it over. And it should line up. And then, and then you do the same thing. Just Throw a couple little dabs of glue in. This glue I've had for a while, so I'm actually surprised it's still working. And then you just throw the wood in there. Just make sure everything's even up top and bottom. And then you just press together. So it actually sticks pretty good. So that's why you don't want to use a lot, a ton of glue because then if it comes out the sides, you'll have to wipe it off or it may, you know, warp the paper a little bit if it's, uh, if it's too much. So, but it doesn't take a lot to, to stick the, the paper to the, to the wood. So there you go. So. Okay. So I'm going to the first step and I figured I would just kind of show how to get stuff out. And this is going to be the inside. The inside of uh, one of the one of the insides of the book nook because there's the outside of it, 
And then you can look to see that, you know, got templates for uh, this, the pieces that you're going to be putting in and everything. So we're going to set that aside. And then I was just going to show kind of getting some of these pieces out of uh, the sheets itself. So this is just like the other wood models where there's just a couple little tabs uh, holding each piece in. And it says to be careful uh, to push it out because like this lantern piece, this is one of the first steps. You can see it's loose up top, but it's secure on the bottom. So you want to find where it's secure and just lightly press on uh, those little uh, connection points. And it should give, I mean, they're not in there that secure where you got to like saw anything off or whatever. But you just want to make sure you don't press against a piece that's really loose because this isn't connected whatsoever. And you don't want to bend or break that. So you just want to just slowly work your way. And if you got to go to the back, you know, just kind of slowly work your way. And there's a point right there. Of uh, freeing it. That's where you just gotta take your time with it. Just make sure it doesn't uh, get damaged or anything. There we go. Ooh, okay. And you can see they got the little little connection right there. So you can either use you can either use an exacto knife to kind of just trim it a little bit. And then, uh, and then if you want, if they, they provide you a little, little sandpaper sheet that you can use that, you know, you can just kind of go back and forth, but you got to be careful of that too, just to make sure you're not going, uh, opposite way of where it's cut, just so it doesn't uh, mess it up or anything. So... And so I'm just, just lightly... Because the sandpaper is really, on well, some of them, they were kind of rough. And you really don't have to press too hard to... And it looks like it did kind of chip it. A little bit, it took a little bit of the wood out right there. Yep. So, that's all right, though. So, making sure, yeah, okay. And then, same for this one. It's just a little rough on top. And then you don't have to sand the, the little knobs, the wooden knobs that, are, that hold the pieces onto the sheets, but um, some people like to just keep the color that's on it, But because when you sand it, you may take some of the color off, but... I like to, uh, you know, make sure that all the smooth, it's as smooth as possible. And it looks like what we're going to do is, looks like these go, yep, yeah, right in here to where it's level with the wood. You don't want to push them all the way through because it's going to be, uh, going on to the, the piece right here so but before we do that okay so we know those two go together so now we need a seven okay so you want to just do the same okay so there's seven and you want to make sure you know what the pieces are and the outline should that's on this sheet should match what you're breaking out. A4. A3. I actually like these pictures. They actually uh, did a pretty good job with uh, coloring them and everything. So, I mean, if you look at it, you know, so I actually did a pretty good job with it. And we got uh, A2. I think was the one I was messing with earlier. I accidentally pushed out. And A8. Uh, A8. Yep, okay. I usually like to go through and just uh, 
just pop out everything that I'm going to be putting on it. And that way I can just clean them all at once. Sand them down if needed. And uh, that way it just kind of makes things go a little quicker. But uh, for the rest of the steps, I probably won't be showing. Pulling everything out unless it's a specific uh, step. I'm just going to slowly work back and forth. There we go. Nineteen and a twenty. If you have like a little tool. Or something that you can press in on these small little pieces so you don't have to use your finger you can do that as well but there we go so I'm just sanding these side pieces that uh, got the little notches on them because you may be using the the edges here to glue on to the uh, the main piece so It's my first time doing that book nook. It actually looked kind of cool with all the different scenes you can put up. I mean, your bookshelf, if you have one, I know most people like the, you know, the digital books and everything, but uh, I'm an old school type of guy, and I always like having uh, books on my shelf and actually reading a physical copy of a book. I don't, uh, I've read some digital, but I just didn't, uh, sometimes hurts my eyes and everything, so, and, uh, I always like the old illustrations that they use for a lot of the books and everything. So, and my you know, wife's a librarian, so it's kind of a thing that we both share. So, because this is a this is for her for Christmas present. So, so I probably won't upload it until it gets a little closer. I don't know, just in case if she happens to watch it. Okay, so I'm just gonna just get a couple little drops in. I'm not gonna put too much. This is, won't take, oh, there you go. It won't take a lot. So I'm just gonna just drop in. A little there, just drop in a little there, drop in a little there. And again, you don't want to push this all the way through, you just want it to be flush. And you can always just push it down, lean it flat against something, and just push down on it where it's nice and level. And then if you got a toothpick or something, if you got some excess glue or whatever, you can always just kind of go in and just kind of get any of the residue out or whatever. Okay. So now, let's see where we're at here. Okay. So, let's do another one. Let me push the rest up. Smooth out. sure got everything now if you look at your board you can see all the you can see all the little templates or little outlines of each piece see, there we go so you see like there's the a7 oops, a7 a4 a3 so they got little 
outlines of each piece that you're going to be putting on and everything. So, and if it doesn't have a number, as long as you look of uh, what you're putting on, it should match everything. Okay, so. Seven. And you want to just come and try to get it as close as possible to the outline that you have. So what you do is just uh, start with the first one and it's probably easier putting paintings on first and then the little lantern just so you don't knock it over or get in the way or anything like that. So and again with the same for this is you really don't need a lot of glue. So, you just, you just put it in just a little dab, and just set it on, and I would put it more toward the middle, just so it doesn't lick out the sides or anything, and then just look at the outline, just make sure you're right inside the you're right inside the outline. And then, and then just keep going. You always want to make sure your green is up. Because that's what's going to be showing on top. It's kind of straight as well. And again, you can always use your toothpick to kind of get any excess out if you need to. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our lantern. Okay. To it. Okay. So I'm probably going to let that dry and then uh, that way I can let the shelves dry a little bit before uh, I stand everything up, before I stand this up. And uh, like I said, it just depends on your glue that you have and how long you want to wait and all that. So, um, but uh, once this is, once everything's kind of dry, then I'll go ahead and just put this picture uh this picture would just go on this shelf right here so but i just don't want to do it right now just kind of wait for stuff to dry and everything but okay so now we're gonna be working on i believe this is the back piece of uh the book nook so and it's got a little cutout right here of a door which I have a feeling this is what you're going to use to get to the battery box for the lights and everything. So, but it, it says there's this little wooden piece. Uh, I'm going to be visiting again. There's this little wooden piece right here in between the door and the holes for this other side. And it says to take out this wooden piece first and then 
put the hinge on and use the screws, but the holes are already lined up with the hinge. So even if I take out that middle piece, it's not really going to interfere with me putting the screws in. So I'm actually going to leave that piece in, put the screws in first, and then try to push that out, see what happens. Because, I mean, it's if I put the screws in, it's going to connect with everything. It's, it's right in the middle of the holes and stuff. So, And they provide you with a little screwdriver like this and, and the four screws that come with it. So, so we'll see how this goes. Hard parts actually getting a hold of it because these are small screws. And it'll be as long as you get it in the hole and just just get it to turn. Not uh, too tight or anything. So it's in there, it's not going anywhere. So now I'm going to use these to see if I can take this little wooden piece out. I'm pushing it this way so it, it'll come out. Because again, I just don't see it. Doing anything. Just a little bit just to get this little chip off okay so now we're all flip that same piece around and now we're gonna work on the back and we're gonna start putting all these pieces on so we just start with the with the two outline pictures because those will be the easiest to do and just same like before we just throw a little bit in the middle won't put too much Just enough to hold it. Just getting the string out of the way. So just lining it up. It looks like some of the outlines go past the picture and then some of them go right to the picture, so like I said, you just gotta just gauge it where you want it. You can make enemies guard you and get go get the true friend pieces. Kendall. So this should be good. Okay, so now we're going to do the little window frame here around this picture that was actually painted onto it. 
So what you want to do, so in the sheet, these two pieces were actually locked inside of it. So you want to take those out because you're going to be angling them to make it look like they're open. So first you're just going to put it around the picture frame. Uh, put, it, put it around the picture almost as close to that uh, piece as you can and just kind of line it up with the inside to where that's all you see is the inside so easiest would be to actually just glue not the whole thing going all the way around but just little sections going around then you want to put it right on top of where you want it because again you don't want to don't want to be moving it around too much and that actually looks pretty good right there just kind of tap it down a little bit yep. okay all right so now we're gonna do the little shelf just make sure you get the grain side up we'll put it underneath it I just kind of press it a little bit and put it. Just make sure it's level and right up on it. Okay, yeah, I actually think that's good right there. Okay, so the best way to do these picture frames to have them in an open position is to find something to put inside the window so that the picture frame or that the windows will actually be able to lean against until it somewhat dries for you uh, to take this out and then that will kind of go a little closer so which may not make sense but uh, pretty much you just want something in the middle to hold the windows open just so they don't uh, fall all the way down there we go just push them in and then just kind of let them sit there for a little bit until it dries just like a couple minutes until they somewhat dry and then you pull this out and then they'll still kind of stick but then slowly work their way in just so you can uh, have them open just a little bit and I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue right here and right here for where it's gonna be. So now, this is the floor, so it looks like G, and then K will go right here. It doesn't say to glue it though. doesn't say to glue this so we're just putting them right together here what you're pushing in just to make sure it's not gonna break anything just push it out here and then just there we go I think the connecting pieces at the bottom are going to hold this together, so... Oops. Just, just pushing it up on the side. Okay. Okay. 
So that's what it's going to look like. Maybe we can get everything else on. It'll kind of fit together a little bit more tighter, but I think it's still not going to go anywhere. So, okay. So that's the way you're up should kind of look at this point after three steps, three pages. So you get your floor, you get your K, and you want these three to match or right next to each other. G, J, and K. So you get the pictures, all that. And you get the window and everything up here on this one. And you get your door back here and I have a feeling that's for the battery pack and everything. But So, so there you go. All right, everyone, so we're on the next step. It looks like we're building some stairs. So I got all the pieces laid out, everything. So it looks like this first part, they don't really want you to uh, glue it. They just want you to just kind of put it together. So of course, make sure you got your green, green part up and everything. So I'm gonna start actually with the bottom here because it looks like this just kind of snaps in. So the really shouldn't go anywhere and because it looks like it's going to be a kind of like an angle or something to go in and then we're going to be putting some uh, other little pieces over top of it or whatever So, yeah, and then this one on the top. Okay. So make sure that one's pushed down. Okay, so that's what yours should look like. Nice little stairs. Okay, so now what we're going to be doing, we've got these little cross pieces. We're going to be putting on the front. Making the, the little front steps going on each one. So, not for sure. Let's see here. Debating whether or not to start at the bottom and work your way up. Because then you'd have at least this to stand on but then you got all the the weight on it where the top ones would be so so I think I may just do it like this I may just hold it so you can do it however you need to do it So I'll do that, and then do this. And then just put it together, and you just want to make sure it's lined up. Yeah, just make sure it's lined up with the edge right here. So, you can always, huh, see, look at that. That's why you don't push on it. Just for it to stick. Again, nobody's really going to see anything if you mess it up. Okay, so pushing that in. 
Okay, so this next one's going to be a little bit harder because I'm only using this top part right here. So it's really not a uh, nothing for it to you know hit on the bottom. So at least not yet, anyway. So I'm just gonna just kind of put it here for now. Just press it against here till the glue settles. That way, uh, I'm just get all these strings out until the glue. So I don't want it to be uh, angled down or anything if I push on the bottom or whatever. So I'm just pushing on the top. Right now, everything's level, flat, and level. So. Nice little set of stairs. But, so that's how it's gonna look. So what I'm gonna do is turn a glue on the back and glue on these bottom pieces here. And just trying to make sure I hit the line. Just like about right there. Pressing down and pressing back. Just making sure this is staying. Because you want to make sure you're not past this little peg right here because you're going to be pushing another wall up against this. And it's going to fit inside like the other side did over there. So you definitely don't want to make sure this isn't past this little peg right here. Okay, so now we're on the next step. It's just like an inner wall that's going to be on the inside of this part right here. So I'm going to be put another picture frame up. Just making sure the green is up. And then it just slides right on in. Let that dry. Excess. Okay. Now, this next piece is actually two separate pieces. But what I did is, since they're going to be together anyway, just to save a little time on trying to glue this piece down here and then glue this piece around here. And uh, it was just looked like it was going to be complicated or whatever. So I just glued this piece to the edge of this to where it's just right underneath the column, you know, the one little angle right here to where it's just underneath the bottom part just to make it easier to try to get this to go, you know, so I wouldn't have to try to do two different pieces because all you're looking for is trying to make sure you, you don't go past the little, the little knob right here because that's going to go down into the floor. So you definitely don't want to go past that, but then you're also wanting to make sure that this piece is even with the opening. So not below, and then level. I think that might be good right there. So, so easy way to do it, if you want, is just glue the books together. Just put a little glue here, put that on, a little glue here, you know, and just do that. That way you know they're going to stay together. And then you can just kind of glue all the bottoms and just stick them down. Because they're not going to move or anything. Just glue the bottoms. He's right here. Just gonna 
hold them in place for a second. And then again, you can pick whatever books you want. You can arrange them however you want. It's just calling for six, six wood books, you know, to be on the shelf here. So you can do however you want. I just, for me, uh, I usually just kind of follow the picture how it looks and everything. Unless it just doesn't look right for whatever reason. So now for this bottom one, I'm going to glue the bottom just a little. And then I'm going to glue this top back because it's going to be leaning. Leaning over just like that. Okay, so we're back to our next step. So what we're going to be doing is on the back of this, we're actually going to be messing with our lights, our light kit. So uh, it should already be kind of hooked together and everything. All you need to do is just take this off and just put a couple triple A's into it. And then you can turn it on to see if it works, which as you can see, one of the lights don't work. And since everything's already kind of fastened and uh, wrapped and everything, and I've already pulled this cord out and plugged it back in and it still isn't coming on. So I think it might just be a bad wire or something. So um, I'll just, uh, one spot that it says to put it is probably where I'm going to put this one kind of in the back where you probably don't need it as much so um, but you definitely want to make sure that the lights work before you um, start taping or gluing stuff or whatever so uh, so what we're going to be doing is messing with these shorter ones because they call these like 10 centimeters this one's like a 15 centimeter and this is like a 35 centimeter so but we're mostly going to be dealing with the with so also with the kit it gave you this little strip i think they're a little uh, pieces of tape in in squares that you can use so um it was wanting you to use that to uh, tape the wires in place behind and uh what i did is uh, i just cut them in half just so i'm not using an entire piece but more than welcome to use the entire piece if you want, um, but also in the past I've used glue to uh, glue the wires to and everything. So uh, I'll try the tape, see how it goes. So so since uh, the two wires, it wants you to tape one on the back of here, and then uh, to put one through this hole here to have light on the outside of this. So that's why I, the one that doesn't work, I'm just going to tape to the back of this because I'm not too concerned with having a light. All it would do is just be light in the back of this right here. So, so I'm just make sure again which one doesn't work. So I am going to just kind of put it somewhere and then Kind of hard to see where the tape is and if this tape doesn't work then um, like I said before I've always just uh, used glue to uh, hold the wires in place and that's always seemed to work pretty well just make sure again okay so yeah grab the wrong one okay so so for this I'm just gonna put some tape yeah, I kind of have a feeling this is not going to hold. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so that's going to go there. And then for this other one, I'm just go ahead and get the tape off. Okay, I'm just going to just going to keep it on my finger. So they want you to put the wire through, but it looks like they want you to curl it to 
where it's facing this way, which it's kind of hard to get these wires to go a certain direction. And it wants you to kind of tape it in the back, but kind of just kind of turn it. And if, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape this front part. Because I just have a feeling you're not really... Eh, you may see it a little bit, but since the tape is clear, I don't think you're really going to see it as much. So, I'm going to tape the front of it for now. And then I'm going to get another piece. And tape the back side, I mean, because they give you enough pieces to, where I'm not worried about uh, using too much of it. So, right now I'm just taping this down, and then taping this down on the front and in the back. So, okay, then the rest of these Looks like they'll be going out the part over here, which I may tape that as well. And then this will stay in the back over here. Let's see. I'm just trying to see how this is kind of looking right now. Because if you can tape more of the wires down or tape it in in more areas than just the one spot then that'll definitely keep it uh secured a lot better than uh just that one little area that you may tape or that they want you to tape so i'm just gonna go crazy and because you know like i said They uh, they give you a ton of, of these uh, tape to use. So I am just not going to cut them. And I am going to just secure these down as best that I can. And then that way... And I may actually tape this just so it's not moving at all. looks to me so so just to look so what I did was I taped it here with a small piece taped it here taped it here which didn't hit it too much but then also taped it here and then I taped this into the front that may hold may not hold I don't know we'll have to see and then the box is going to be going over here and and just sitting in there so it'll be just kind of sitting like that and then what you're going to be doing is and then just pushing it down and making sure these wires come out the side over here This is why you have this door here. I can get it open. Need some small fingers. Open this up so you can get to the battery pack to turn it on. Your battery pack. Your battery pack. You need to have it where the switch is right here so you can turn it off and on. 
And then you can always test it every time. It's out. So as you can see, the, the, the light comes on over here, and then there's supposed to be one in the back here to light up this back part, but that's the one I put that doesn't work, so I'm not too worried about that right now. I mean, it's, it is what it is. Maybe I'll mess with it later, I don't know, but... Okay, but at least try to make it to where your switch is on the outer part right here of the door. So it's just easy to get to. And then just make sure tape's in there good. This is down all the way. And then you want to grab your floor. And then... Does it say to glue? Just kind of... Put them in and then line up. <sighs> All right, so now we're gonna uh, finish securing these cords to the bottom right here. So one of the steps calls for these little wooden pieces to get pushed up into here. So you wanna make sure you get the cord Hold nice and tight, and then you want to make sure to so put, put two pieces of tape right here just to hold it in place so it doesn't really go anywhere. And then just push this in again. You can use glue if you want, I, I didn't, they seem to hold pretty well. You just want to make sure the grain is facing away. So you just want to make sure this first one is past it. And the next one is just going to be the 35 millimeter or centimeter cord. Put that in. And then just this last one here. And just pop that in. Okay, and then the cord will eventually go up into here and then somewhere we'll use it so but okay so looks like we're gonna be gluing some uh, furniture pieces together already got the pieces out cut sanded all that good stuff so we're gonna start with the bottom uh, looks like drawer piece here and I'm gonna glue this bottom onto it and then glue this other one to it. So start with the bottom part. This piece on. Then push both in at the same time, making sure. That both pieces are level on each side as best as possible some of them you're not going to be able to get but just want to do your best Put a little on here, a little over here. And 
And the buttons are up. Don't think this drawer piece is going to go anywhere. Whoops. And again, I'm kind of working a little, I'd say a little, a little quick. I probably could let the glue settle just a little bit more. But I've used this glue enough to kind of know how long I have to work with it. I just put it down. Just make sure it's level. It's kind of even on both sides. These pieces together and it doesn't look like you need any glue because I think a lot of it is uh, with the pegs. Oh, actually I think I might want to glue it together. <laughs> doesn't say to but uh, that was kind of loose. So I'm just going to throw a little bit on the back part just so the Just so it has something to stick to. And then have that in there. Here we go. Okay. So then what it wants you to do is uh, cut out some paper from uh, page two and roll it up like that and then just put it inside of it. So I'd already done three, which I think might be all that's going to fit in here. Or I may have rolled them too big. There we go. So, I may have rolled them too big, but they're definitely not going to go anywhere. But I'll show you what I did. So, if you have a small screwdriver like this that's small enough, what I did was I just kind of got the paper and rolled it. If you have something smaller that you can roll these around, that'll probably work too. And then if you can get the paper straight, which I'm kind of running it. There we go. And then just keep turning it around the screwdriver. And then it'll just roll itself. And then what I did was I just held the ends like this. It is just just put some drops. Just put some drops in there. And then just roll the paper all the way through. And if you got glue coming out of it, then just kind of wipe it off. And then just hold the paper until it dries. And then once it dries, then you can just kind of shape it how you need it. 
And then there you go. Like I said, it don't it doesn't have to be perfect or nothing, but you're just getting it to be able to fit into the this little uh, furniture piece or paper holder or whatever. So you can actually roll them, roll them thinner if you need to. Or, uh, you know, roll them as small. Roll them smaller if you need to. Just to get four in there if you want to do four. But uh, it only shows putting three in. I think it just gave you an extra one. So, But there you go. So, all right. So we're on our next step. Looks like building a bookcase. So I already got the pieces laid out and I already kind of have the books kind of glued together on what the uh, kind of the way that picture shows. So I just went ahead and just kind of glued those together just to save a little bit on time. But so it's just at the back piece. We're going to be putting the shelves in and uh, putting the side on and everything. So I'm just going to throw a little glue in the holes and on the side. Glue is, but... Put these in. Then I'm gonna use this. Say so I almost glued it on the wrong way. And it's just uh, for looks, just so you have. Definitely harder than what it what it should have been. Okay. So there's our bookcase, got the trim on the outside. Alright, so now I'm gonna throw the books in. And then just kind of do one that's kind of leaning. I was going to wait to put this last one in just so I could glue it to the bottom of the shelf and everything. So, so I'm just going to lay that down. Let's see. Just glue the bottom because I mean it's not really gonna go anywhere or anything, so corners here and corners here. Just so it's hitting against the wood or the other books. Don't need too much. So The books it calls for 15 of the wooden ones and then three of the actual folding ones so all I did with those was I just went in and just glued each page on the inside of it and then just squeezed it together to so it would close up like a regular book there's one that I did just to fit it in like it is just so you can kind of see pages and everything instead of the wood all the way across and I already glued these together just glued those three and just put some on the inside there and just slid those right there. And just squish those down. And then this next one is another folding book that uh, I just want you to kind of have it tilted up like that. So I have it like that. And then now the bottom ones are almost the opposite of that one. So, again, just a little bead there, and then just put this down here, yeah. and this time I'll uh, 
may reverse the book and just kind of just have it like that. The picture shows you, it wants you to do it the other way to show the spine, but again, you can do these however you want. So I think I'm just going to do it this way. There we go. So there's your bookcase with all your books and stuff on it. And you can pick whatever books you want. It, it really don't matter. Like I said, you can see all the ones here in the back. So it's just as long as you have a different variety, just so it's not the same ones, um, you know, to throw in there and everything, just so you have different colored spines and whatever. So, so it, it really don't matter what you do. All right, everyone. Looks like our next step is uh, to finish off this bookcase. That was actually a, a frame and top piece and everything that we're going to be putting onto this. So got everything cut out, and then later on we're going to be messing with the the rest of those pages that was on uh, one of the sheets and everything. So so we're going to go ahead and glue this on, and then we'll finally start putting some of these last furniture pieces that we were working on actually into the model itself. Inside here, okay. And you want to line this up where it's just on the inside, where it's just level, where it's even up at the very top. Just kind of push it down. Oh, I don't know why I did that for. Oh, well. Have some nice glue in there. Didn't really need to go along the shelves there. I thought it was in it, but it wasn't. But I did this down here, so... Let me... Go ahead and just put a little bit here, and then we'll finish this one off. Little trim piece that we'll just put in here just so it dries. Just making sure it's straight. There we go. So That's nice, good, and straight. Then we'll be throwing this little piece on top of it here. So, so we'll just put this on. let this settle for a little bit okay we'll just set that down for a second and just let this glue settle before I put it up because what we're going to be doing case up here we're gonna be putting the desk over here we're gonna be putting the desk over here and then I got all the pages here cut out and it looks like you just pick whatever pages you want 
And then we're just going to be throwing them up against the walls right here. And uh, just like putting them up, gluing them to the wall in, in any type of order. So, um, and it looks like you need another wood book and a folding book. So, while that one's drying, I'll just show you what I did for the the other one to glue it together. So all I did was just inside each page about halfway. I just little thin strip. Next page, just repeat the process. Just to ensure that all the pages were sticking. Now you don't have to glue the entire page or anything like that. You just just want a little bit of glue just so all the pages stick together so it doesn't open up or anything and then once you do that then you just close it and not squeeze it too tight because you want to at least you know show that it has pages or anything so you just kind of sit here and hold it just for a little bit and just throw some glue on that and Like I said, just make sure it's even. You're just kind of pushing it a little bit if you want. But but there you go. Definitely uh, be okay to go ahead and glue it. But I'm just going to put the desk almost like right in front of that. And I'm actually going to scoot it to where it is all the way back yeah. actually you know what I think I'm gonna just put it like right there just gonna kind of just throw it at it put it at an angle let it sit there, and then this. It's just on top of it. It's good to have some tweezers. Just tap it down. Okay, so now we're going to be gluing uh, pages to the wall from what it looks like. And again, it's just whatever order that you want. type of arrangement or whatnot because again it doesn't really show how to put anything but pretty much just fill the wall up to under the shelf which I guess I could have, should have done that first before I put the books there but Just however you want to put them. I'm just 
just kind of throwing some pages together. It's just kind of a mix mash, so it's not really for sure how to do some of it, but it's, you're just what you're wanting to look for is just a little combobulation of uh, pages and. Just covering pages and whatever, so. So. Again, just don't know if people would even see it, you know, looking in and whatever, so. Because I don't think people would be seeing anything all the way in the back, you know, if we put anything back there or not, so. I think I'm just going to leave it at that for now. Like I said, it's just a, it's a good mixture of, uh, you know, the pages and everything and the books on the desk and, you know, it, it's, you don't want to put too much in there because then it just gets too busy and everything, so. So, just kind of putting it where it's inside right on the shelf. Just let it sit there. There you go. Now we're done. So we got. <clears throat> so we got a bookcase, got our ladder, got a little newspaper stand, got our pages in the back, got our desk. You know, got our desk, you know, a little page on it, some books, and got our pages on the wall right there. So. All right. Uh, next step looks like we're going to be building the fireplace <clears throat> and the mantle and just all the everything that kind of goes with it. So, got all the pieces laid out, got them all sanded, uh, ready to go just to save on time because this alone took me about an hour. So, um, definitely takes some time to do it. So, all right. So, we're going to start with this step. Going to glue the spacer on. And we'll be doing the same steps for either side. So. Not really putting it all the way down. sure it is level with the side right here and that it is level with the top just because you're going to be putting putting something else on the side so I want to make sure it is level on both sides. Okay. So the next thing is putting this down on it. And that's the way it's going to be is just, we're just going to be kind of building up. Both sides, just do it a little at a time. And I'm just gluing the, around the, the edge just because that's all that's going to be touching this right here. So. You just want to make sure it's level up at the top. Just press it in. Just make sure it's not going above the top of it or anything. So 
Just make sure it's level. Okay. So, and you want to make sure the fire's on the bottom when you do this too. So, okay. So these other pieces are going to be stacked, kind of just like what we did. And then once we stack them, they're going to go right next to it. So I think what I'm going to do, instead of trying to do one at a time, which is going to be, I want to say difficult, but maybe a little harder, is I'm going to go ahead and just glue these together first and then with them together and then glue it to the side because that way you have three pieces to glue instead of just one at a time. Just set it down if you want, make sure it's sitting right. And then just press this against it. Okay, so while that is drying, we'll work on these over here. So there's your lower part of your mantle and everything. So it should look like that. It don't really matter which way it goes. No, but it looks exactly the same on both sides. And again, you can always like lay it down to make sure it's level or it's flush with the back on a flat surface as long as everything else is being held and all that. So there's that. And then you're just going to get your next piece, which is just a hair bigger that'll stick out. Same, just push it down, make sure it's flush. Again, want to make sure it's flush with the back and then it's even on both sides and then you just want to hold it. Press down and hold it. Yeah, and it looks like it's flush. Okay, so I'm just going to sit here and hold for a little bit, just let the glue settle, and uh, get all this together, and then uh, once everything's together, then we'll glue it to the top of the, or to the bottom of the mantle on this one, just like we did before in the other one. So this is your mirror that's going to go into the middle, 
So it's got a protective film on the front and a sticky part on the back for the instructions. So what I'm going to do is just peel off the sticky part and I'm going to stick it on here. And then, uh, then I'm going to peel off the protective stuff on the front because I just don't want any fingerprints on it while I'm working with it. Easy this sticky backing is to get off. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's sticky. And like with everything else, there's an outline here, so just gotta work on ensuring that it is level or if it's in the template. So once you work on one side, you work on the other, make sure it's level and then just press it down. So I'm glad they at least put the sticky back on the mirror so you wouldn't have to try to glue it down. And it'd be moving all over the place, you know, while this glue settles. So, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and peel off the protective film and then try my best to not touch this mirror. Because <laughs> it is clean. Ooh, and shiny. Okay. Shouldn't matter which way you uh, which way you glue it or anything. Where'd you go? But yeah, it shouldn't matter which way you glue it. So all you want to do is just making sure that it gets inside the mirror, and then because it's not really going to go anywhere else. Once you have the mirror inside of it, it should be pretty flush. Okay. Just want to be protective of the mirror. Make sure you don't get any glue or anything on it. That's why I just glued the top part of the trim. And you just want to put it on. Just make sure it's level with the top. And if you gotta squeeze it, so be it. Okay. So there's your top piece. The mirror and all. I'm not gonna pull it straight because then it'll light probably reflect right back into you. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is glue this whole thing on top of here. Set it on. Make sure it's level with the back. Make sure it's straight. Even on both sides. Okay. I'm just going to press it down a little hard just to get it to stay. So, if you got something to, uh, to hold it lean it up against or something, just so you're worried about it falling over or anything, and that way you'll keep the mirror straight as well. Okay. If you 
just get it on here, push it down to stay, and then use something to get it onto the template or the little outline. That's fine too. You just want to get it on here just to just so you can push it down to get it to where it's supposed to go. Okay. That one's good, yep. All right. So, uh, so, there you go. There's your little mantle. Mirror, candles, fireplace. I like it stuff, so I'm not going to shine the mirror right in front of you, but, but, uh, but there you go. Okay, so with this out, I'm just going to stick it here, and then I'm just going to make sure it's level with the bottom. Just trying to make it f even all the way across. And sometimes the boards or the pieces get, you know, a little warped or whatever, so you may not be able to get it even all the way across, but with the glue you can kind of try to get it as close as possible. Okay, so now... Okay, so I don't know what happened, but my phone was going crazy. Like the video just stopped and started taking pictures. So, I don't know exactly where it ended, but uh, glued the bottom on, glued the top on, and just glued the sides on right here. So that's your little decorative piece, what it kind of looks like. And then now, we're going to place it. Looks like it goes on top of this and you just looks like it's gonna go right onto the very edge right there all the way over to the left just so it misses this right here okay now I'm just gonna place it on here and again I'm just making it level with the back. Okay, so it looks like this little light piece or whatever is going to go up into this little hole right here. And uh, just popped up in there, so I'm just going to just put a little bit of glue. glue on it around the edges here just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere so it's a good thing I didn't put the desk through there okay so now This is going to go right like that. Pretty much as far as it's going to go, or you put it right to the edge if you want to. It don't really matter, I don't think. Because it can't really go too much further than where it is right now, so... This much glue won't hold it, then I don't know what will.
Oof. Trusty clamp. Push the bottom off, so. Just gonna clamp both of those in. There we go. So, I just put a couple clamps on the sides just to make sure it ain't gonna go anywhere. And uh, that step is done. sure it's in there good sure they have the picture of the grain on the inside but I think I'm actually gonna put it on the outside because if this is facing if you're looking at it like this the grains always gonna be on the outside so that's where I'm gonna put it instead of on the inside because you're gonna see it more on the outside than you are the inside You also want to make sure that you have the banisters facing the right way. It's got little, little trim piece, you know, the, of the actual banisters or the uh, the spacers in between. There's a, like a little uh, edge right here that's not on the bottom, so you want to make sure that one's facing up. shouldn't matter which way it goes either so just press it down make sure it's even in front of the fireplace Okay, that looks good to me, so we'll just leave it like that for now. Because you never know what will happen. That's kind of weird. So they did the grain just on one side and not on both or opposites. So you're going to have the grain facing. So it should, I'm guessing it's going to be facing the same direction. So you're going to be seeing it. So, it's kind of funny, that way, 
There we go. Don't really matter where you put it, as long as it's over here somewhere. But once you set it down, you need to make sure you stay where you put it down, because then you're going to see the glue marks on the carpet and everything. So, and then you're going to put the table down. the same thing just want to just put it somewhere doesn't really matter where but just put it in there set it down just gonna put him right on the inside just so you can see him there Pushed it too much. Try to bring it back a little bit. Just leave it like there. And then the last thing, now it shows uh, like a couple letters to put into it, but I have no idea what happened to mine. I thought I'd saved them somewhere, but I do not know where they're at. So, um, they were just a couple of pieces that you cut out of the with the other paper pieces that you have and I have no idea where mine are so I'm just gonna throw another little newspaper clipping on the table as if they're reading it okay so finish this bottom row now we'll go ahead and do the second row it seemed to work all right doing the just uh doing all of them at once but you can't waste too much time if it looks like you're gonna do if it's gonna take you a little bit then i definitely would just do a couple at a time just so you don't uh don't feel like you're being rushed trying to get it all together and everything so maybe i'll just do uh I'll just do three. Just so. You can kind of see what it looks like. And these upper ones are is going to have a shelf underneath it, so definitely want to make sure that these are level. Just gotta be careful. It's not messing with the the books above it or anything. Says that even though he was just holding it. Yes, but I'm not handshaking you. <laughs> Plus, he's swimming in the pool. I'm pretty sure he's fine. Goal is 
fun. It's just hard for it to hit. Yeah, the learning part is fun. The work part isn't. <laughs> And these I just already pre-glued together. It was just this piece on top of the one underneath it. So it was just to save a little bit of time. And then this is going to go right up against that. So I'm just going to glue the bottom. Push it in. Scratchy blank. Huh, this huh, this is actually pretty good. Push it up. Just put it on there, slide it forward. Slide it forward and then just make sure it's even on both sides. Okay, there you go. There's your upper part of your uh, little bookcase cabinet or whatever you're gonna use it for, so. Just little dabs right there. Strings. And this doesn't matter which way you put it, it's, it's either or. Just kind of press down. Just make sure it's even. And this is the same. It doesn't really matter which way you do it. Just as long as it's got the printed side or the stained side on the outside. It should be even on the sides, just sticking out the front. So just want to make sure it's even on the back part. Just flush. Flush with that. Flush with that. Uh, two little pieces here that I already glued together. Just glued one on top of the other to make the base. <clears throat> and then this will be the, the right side. So you want the grain on the right. And then for your little decorative piece, you want to make sure uh, that the, uh, the leaf cut out all the way down to the bottom is at the bottom. 
because you see it's got more space up here at the top than at the bottom. So you want the more space at the top when you put it together. So it'll, it'll go in like this, where this goes to the inside of the side piece. Like that. And just line it up. And then again, make sure the grain's on the inside if you're doing the left, so you want the two cutouts to be the same. And then just put that in there like that. And then just gonna add it to the back to make sure it's flush with the back. leave a little little space up in the front so then you just want to make sure it's flush with the oh, with the back and the sides and that's where you can adjust the the piece if you need to <clears throat> I'm just gonna put it on a flat surface just make sure it's Put on there where it's level with the back part. All right, so our next step, it looks like the uh, that bookcase and the lower cabinet piece, they actually don't go together, but they both go onto the other wall, inside wall of the uh, book nook. So uh, we're gonna throw everything together and on this piece, this top part, you can see the little outline, this little template right here. That's where that bookcase piece is going to go. And then down here, if you can see right there, you see the little templates right here, right here, right there. This is like where some other little shelves are going to go. And that bottom part cabinet that we just built is going to go underneath it. So the way they have it is they want you to put those shelves here first and then put the lower cabinet underneath it. But I'm going to kind of turn that around and put the cabinet in first. That way I know the shelves are going to line up just perfectly with that. Because I don't want to put all the shelves in even though they're going to be aligned. If you align them right <clears throat> to where the templates are, there's still a chance that they may not align to where... Uh, the cabinet is so I'm just going to use the cabinet first and then um, do it that way that way it's um, you know I know for sure that it's going to line up so so what I'm going to do is just kind of put the cabinet in and then use the bottom uh, template and then just make sure that all three that's on these bottom pieces or all three of these bottom pieces are aligned with the bottom of this cabinet right here while still making sure that it's aligned with the edge right here, that this right here doesn't go past it, and then also that the bottom here doesn't go past these little tabs, because this is going to be inserted into the bottom uh, part of the book nook. I know before I always said you don't have to really coat the whole thing, but as big a piece as what this is, definitely not going to take a chance. And then definitely don't want to move this around too much because the glue will kind of move with it. So you can kind of line it up with the edge of where it's going to go. And then uh, just kind of look at the lines and see if they line up. And I think we're good. Just kind of put it right there. I'm going to uh, put glue down on the actual board. That way, all I need to do is just put the piece down onto the wood or onto the glue itself. 
and uh, I can actually see where the outline is. If you can't see where the outline is, then you can just put the glue on the wood and then just, you know, push it down on the outline. So you definitely want to make sure that you can see the outline to make sure it's putting the wood piece where it's supposed to be going. And you also want to make sure that the grain is facing to the right away from the letter here because every people are going to be looking at it from this direction so and on the on the edges if you have one edge that's not as bad or uh, if worse than the other then just pick the the best one that you have and I'm just going to make sure it's all the way down touching this piece here and I think it's and like I said, it's nobody's really going to notice anything, but you definitely want to make sure that it's straight. Some of the glue that you use, always those the little stringies that you always got to wipe away and stuff. So it's always fun. I'm not gonna knock over any of the pieces you just put down. So. So if you put enough glue down, you shouldn't have to worry about uh, hitting all the edges or anything. So if it's a little tight, just uh, keep pushing down to, to get it to fit. Like the board's a little warped, so just adjust accordingly. If it's warped, then so be it. I'm not too worried about it. It still ain't gonna go anywhere. And you're gonna have that happen sometimes. It's just, you know, wood in a in that position for so long or whatever, and once you break it out, then it just kind of 
warps a little bit and everything, but again, not too worried about it. Yeah, I definitely don't see how I could have done this without uh, the bottom bottom cabinet in place. I mean, I'm sure I could have done it, but it's just easier to already have it there. That way, you know where everything's going and, you know, just that it's going to fit good and everything. So I think that was a good choice to put this bottom piece in first before putting the shelves in. Last one. Okay. All right, there we go. So, there's your uh, little shelving unit. And uh, I'll give you one guess what we're going to be putting in it. <laughs> so, uh, picture frames. No. So, uh, going to be putting all those other books that we haven't, uh, that we put together that we haven't touched yet. So, and up here at the top, just some of our other picture frames we're going to be putting in. So, just... sure that one's in there. Getting it lined up. And then we can go ahead and put this on here. So the actual bookcase is a little smaller than the template, so I would just go with uh, aligning it with the top part of the template. I would try to leave as much space at the bottom as I as I could. So, hmm. so you can either go ahead and glue it now, or if you wanted to, you could wait put the floor in and then uh, put this in just so you know you wouldn't have to worry about it how it's going to fit or anything so I'm going to just go ahead and glue it in just take a leap of faith every other model I've done they've actually done pretty well with where everything's supposed to be placed just may not put as much glue in just in case if I need to take it off but just gonna align it with the top and just let it sit there we go and there's a good space in between so here's hoping <laughs> so all right so now next up is looks like is uh, some books getting some books together and uh, a couple other little knickknacks to throw in here okay so we got all of our books together get ready to fill all the spots here so i've just got this leaning up against something just to make it a little easier to put the books in so i went ahead and just glued all the books together uh, what I did was uh, I looked at the picture to see kind of what they had or what you what they wanted you to kind of do for for each of the spots. So I kind of did that, and you definitely have more books than uh, what you need. So I just kind of started filling in the holes, just uh, made it you know try to fill in as much as I could, and I kind of changed it up a little bit than what they had. Again, you can do whatever you want. Uh, however, there are a couple positions that are spots that you have to, there are some things that you do have to put in that aren't books. 
So you definitely have to uh, ensure these get in, which is the hourglass. Right here, put it in this way. I think it's supposed to fit in long ways or straight in, but this one is not. So I'm just gonna put it in at an angle. First step that we did where we just added the little kickstand on the back of it and everything just so it'll set up so just kind of kind of push it all the way back just have it sitting there okay so so these individual spots here and here is just like a single book so which is easy you just pick whatever and uh, just put them in there I'm just putting glue on the bottom just so they're sitting in however you want them to sit in Again, using some tweezers probably be a little better to you know manage putting stuff in and everything and then uh, down here uh, they wanted you to put like some books straight up and down whatever but um, and they wanted you to use a mix of the the wooden books and then the folding books so I didn't use as many of the folding books but uh, I still wanted to use them in a little different, uh, little different ways and everything. So, so instead of having this set up, I'm just kind of laying it down. I'm just kind of having it stick out a little bit. These on the end. on the end and then I just uh, stacked stacked some books together Just stack some book together and use the folding book on top. Just didn't put them exactly uh, right together. Didn't want to do that. Here we go. Uh, just kind of put them in this way. Next set of books, I just kind of actually kind of glued them together and then I put them in the shelf and then I leaned them just to get this kind of leaning effect. So they're not straight up and down or anything like that. So just to kind of give them some type of, you know, just so they're not straight up and down. Whoops. <laughs> Fell right down. I usually kind of like it uh, to make it look like where you know all the books aren't perfectly straight or some might be sticking out a little or just a little off center and everything so it just kind of makes it look a little uh, unique because most libraries I've been in or little book rooms or whatever majority of the time the books aren't perfectly aligned or straight or anything like that so So 
I just kind of like this one. I made this one a folding book on the end and I just kind of have it sticking out a little bit. So I won't put it like right onto the edge. I'll just kind of put it in the middle. one I wanted to kind of lean a little bit so just so it's leaning against the other books and stuff so and if I wanted to, I could always throw another one in there, which I might. Let's see what we got here. Once so I got a little bit of room, got tons of books, so definitely ain't gonna hurt nothing. So I'll just throw another one in here. It sits. There we go. There we go. Here we go. Okay. Got all the books in there, ready to go. Actually, doesn't look too bad. So how am I supposed to? Okay. So the issue is the wires that are underneath. that are underneath right here they're hitting against this piece right here so you got to try to figure out how to get these over top into that back part that's what that's what that back little uh, section that's cut out that's where the wires are supposed to go into so I have to try to figure out how to um, raise that up. So it actually would almost be better to wait to put this top part on. Pull the top part off. Pull the top part off because you're gonna have to lift this up to get these wires through, and you're not gonna be able to do that with this bookcase sitting on top of it. It, it kind of would block it a little bit. So I am going to try. Okay, I had these taped down, but I'm gonna untape them now. So because I actually didn't. So I took the tape off of these that I did before earlier. I had glued in here, but I took that off as well. There's some tape in there, but they kind of came off. So I'm gonna try to just make sure you guys can see. glued and taped in the back in here but I'm actually uh, loosening them just so I can try to maneuver them out a little bit Past. 
try to push these wires past the little alcove thing. There we go. There we go. And then the same for this up here too. These wires will go fall right in. That's what the little alcove things are for. Okay. And then the wires, these wires come out of the hole right here. But then underneath it should go into the little alcove as well. So you don't really see it as much. And so you can kind of see up under, oh, let me get a good shot there. So all the wires that were here is going back into that alcove. So you kind of have to pull them out and then set them in and then get the piece in there. So that's why not having the bookcase up here helps so you can kind of maneuver it through. So now is the fun part, which is uh, locking everything together. This one's going to go up in here on the top and everything so but that's how it's going to look and then there would have been a light in the back where the stairs is but that one is the one out that burn out so but so not too bad so this just goes right up under here Kind of covers the entire distance. Just put it up underneath there. Just kind of just making sure it fits. It's over all the way. <laughs> just making sure I don't hit nothing. <laughs> okay. You just do the same thing. It's almost like trim pieces what you're trying to put down in here, so. I'm just pushing it. Don't want my finger get down in there to do anything, so. Okay. So. Visitor. So, just throw this on here. And it looks like the green is on the inside, so it must be uh, going to be seen a specific way and everything. So, while that's doing that, then I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, we already got some glue there. Go ahead and glue under this. Just kind of hold them for a second while the glue sets. Just make sure that it's level. And that's not going anywhere. Just kind of set it down. Just make sure it's even. And that it's at least on where you're trying to glue. Move this 
this back just a little bit. other piece here and I may stick some out a little bit just just so they're not all the same area and stuff Said I'm not using a lot, and like I said, it's just it's just paper, pretty much. It'll set pretty quick. And usually, if I'm on a flat surface, I'll kind of push them down, and maybe push a couple out, or push a couple back, or. Just yeah, they're already set up, so we'll just leave it like that for now. And then I'll just just put a little bit in here. sitting there and like that top heavy here there we go just kind of bring it out a little bit I'll just kind of angle it a little bit more there we go so can't really bring it out to angle it too much more it's just just the way the stand is and everything so I'll just leave it right there just right under the picture everything so and then it looks like it wants you to glue which I don't get because So if this is the top, they want you to glue this here. It almost looks like you're supposed to have enough room for it to, to go to the middle of this, but you don't. Not if you do that. You're only gonna have enough room just to have it like kind of like that. So let me see how. This is going to go like right here. So I could probably just glue it to the edge of the, the front piece and not the top piece. Um, so I couldn't really pull it too much more. it 
to the inside of this right in here. So if you want, I would just run a, a bead going straight up. See, some of this stuff, they don't really tell you exactly how much room you're going to need or anything. So until you get to the point, you're like, well, I don't have enough of what, what you're talking about, but... And since it is a wire, you're going to want to put as much glue as possible to hold this in place. Ah, I just dropped it. But you definitely don't know when you're going to need something. So I'm just going to kind of maybe throw something on the edge, kind of right there. There's a hair or something right there. Just kind of put something right there. Extra books and papers and everything. So you can do whatever you want. Yeah. Just kind of That you don't really have to stack the books any type of certain way or anything, but I always like to do things a little different. Get this other book. Just kind of. I just may just leave it at that. It says two, but I think I'll just leave it at that. Okay. So. Okay, so it looks like. Okay, so we're putting the, the top board on. But. Sure. But that's all right. Uh, sometimes pieces fit, sometimes they don't. Okay. <sighs> okay, so now. This is going to be fun. Okay. So everything should be glued in so I can do this. Okay, I think that may work. I think that might work. Because they want you to have the, the light right into the middle. Right into the middle so it shows out and everything. So, so what I'm going to do is I am going to glue. A ton of glue. 
it in here. And then a lot of glue in here to make sure it holds it. Okay. And then it's just pushing it in and holding it in place. Just like we did. Okay, so I just put the cover on, camera, phone shut off, so I don't know where it ended, but, so I just went ahead and put this cover on, I just glued it on, so you just want to make sure that, uh, you know, it's closer, close to the edge as, as best you, that you can make it, sometimes that may not fit it perfectly, but as long as it's, it's close to where you want it, and everything. So that's all you can ask with everything going on. And if the wood is warped, this front piece, then you can always throw some weights on this to weigh it down to, till it dries, the glue dries, and then you can take it off and everything. But okay guys, so we finally finished our cute B uh, eternal bookstore book nook uh, model. So uh, kind of take it around, show everything. So. This is all the outside of it. Here's the door to get to the uh, battery pack to turn the lights on. Everything. There's just the other side of it. And then there's the top. I already kind of had the light on, so that's why I didn't want to show that the top in it too much. And then here is the front. So I'm going to try to show as much as I can. So. Like I said at the beginning, the battery, the model comes with four lights uh, for you to position at different places. And there's supposed to be one behind that door right there that's supposed to come on, but that's the one that was burnt or it didn't work or whatever. So I may do something else eventually, but uh, actually kind of adds a little mystery to it or whatever by not having it in there. But just take a quick look around for what we can. So over here you got you know some pictures on the walls. The back corner you got a little desk and got some papers on the wall. Got some papers on the back wall there, and there's another little window. So a little bookcase in the back with a ladder. And then over here another little bookcase with a photo and a little book holder and everything right there. So. And then working our way down, another bookcase. This is a library, so there's a lot of books. A um, little bookcase in there. Everything got some books on the floor. Got a little dog table, chair, a little fireplace, little mantle. Got a little mirror, some candles, and everything. And in the back, just some books on a shelf and. Um, the little wall and the little entranceway and the stairs going up that uh, which was lit but it is not so uh, but uh, I think the lights actually do a pretty good job with uh, there's just one there to the top and then there's one under there and then uh, there's another one that's right up under here that gives off light there so kind of wish that one in the back was on but actually think it's fine because the only thing that back is that it's back there is stairs and uh, like a little picture and that's it so but I may uh, try to do something else uh, later on so but that's it though I mean actually uh, thought it was a pretty easy build uh, just kind of like all the other wooden models that uh, I've put together is just follow the instructions uh, break out the pieces and uh, you know just kind of put them together so uh, this just didn't have as many parts to it but but once you're done you know you can just throw this on a bookcase and then a um, little conversation piece that uh, that you have on there and everything so but uh, but definitely enjoyed it so this will be my uh, yeah, the wife's uh, Christmas present that I give to her 
everything so hopefully she likes it that's why i won't be posting this video until uh, you know i give it to her so so she will be at least a little bit surprised so but uh with that you know i appreciate everyone watching and as always please like share subscribe leave comments and uh i'll definitely get back to you so with that i appreciate you watching see you next episode